Today, let's talk about Bobby Petrino being hired as the new offensive coordinator at Texas A&M. <laughs> It was only 20 days ago that Bobby Petrino was announced as Barry Odom's offensive coordinator at UNLV, but that did not stop the former Missouri State coach from packing up shop and heading to College Station. That's right, Jimbo Fisher and Texas A&M have hired Bobby Petrino as the Aggies' new offensive coordinator. Now, before we begin to discuss that hire specifically, let's take a look at a couple of the members of the current coaching staff. The D.C., just hired last year from Ole Miss, is D.J. Durkin who was fired from Maryland for having a toxic environment inside his football program, which the school believes played a part in Jordan McNair's death in the summer of 2018. The offensive line coach is Steve Adazio, who was fired as head coach from Boston College. Uh, and then at Colorado State, after just two seasons where he was accused of having a toxic environment by some players and assistants before he even coached his first game, and where it was reported that he likely made a racially insensitive comment and threatened the janitor's job after the janitor told him a restroom in the football facility was closed for cleaning. Now, the wide receiver coach is Damon Craig, who left Auburn for LSU and then left LSU for Texas A&M, and then back in 2018, after the infamous seven-overtime LSU-Texas A&M game, was accused by LSU analyst Steve Cragthorpe as starting the whole post-game melee, if you remember, by, and I quote, just trash talking and yelling and screaming a bunch of crap. And so now that we know about some of the coaching staff, toss in the player suspensions last season, the rumors about smoking in the locker room, the transfers out, Jimbo losing his mind at a press conference about Nick Saban last May, and we understand that a bit of a culture has been set in College Station, which I guess makes this hiring make sense, right? Petrino is most famously known for leaving a note for his players in their lockers, telling them he's leaving the Atlanta Falcons to be the head coach at Arkansas, and then, of course, being fired at Arkansas for hiring his mistress inside the uh, football program. I think you guys know the story. So, Jimbo Fisher needed to bring in somebody to help modernize his offense. Bobby Petrino is known for offense, right? We can forget that his last Louisville team in 2018 was number 98 in yards per play because that was just a bad team. Right? In 2017, they were number three because they had Lamar Jackson at quarterback. So when Petrino got the opportunity to go to Missouri State in 2020, uh, in FCS, that would be a shark entering the pool, right? Now, in his final season there, they had to be an offensive juggernaut. Maybe not so much. Missouri State was number 65 in yards per game in 2022, number 42 in completion percentage, 61.6%. Now, they were at least number 33 in team passing efficiency with 18 touchdowns and six interceptions, and they were number 34 in passing yards per completion. Now, all of this was with quarterback Jason Shelley, who was widely considered the best returning quarterback in FCS this season. Now, are those recent numbers good enough to warrant Jimbo Fisher choosing him to be the guy to take over this Texas A&M offensive play calling? I personally don't really think so. Uh, now, how is this relationship going to work? Is Jimbo hiring him just because it's somebody he respects? Is this somebody that's not going to just be a yes man? Now, I can definitely imagine the arguments these two will get into while game planning, but at the same time, how modern is this offense going to be? Considering Petrino has not been in FBS football since 2018, a season where his team went 2-10 and 10 just two seasons after his quarterback won the Heisman Trophy. Now, if I'm a Texas A&M fan, I don't know how excited I am about this hire. If I'm a college football fan, I am incredibly excited about the possibilities of what could happen inside this program. If nothing else, this should be highly entertaining for all of us. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.